you touched on the 21st century lifestyle. And, and what I'll say is this. If we were trying to craft a way of living that made people fat and sick, we've done it. We've won. <laughs> we've won. We have an uneasy relationship with technology. So we could, you know, this is probably a whole other podcast topic, really. But how mm. technology hijacks our brain. So, for example, um, there's a book called Digital Minimalism by Cal Newport. Mm -hmm. Super important for myself. I run an online coaching business. For me to manage my access, you know, because running an online business from home, even pre-COVID times, like I have to manage my relationship with technology. Mm. So technology fundamentally changes our brain. Um, we are losing the ability, like structurally changes are happening in our brain where we're losing the ability to think critically. Mm -hmm. And our attention span has, has shrunk from, say, maybe 13 or 14 seconds down to six. Nah. So we are now becoming more and more and more impulsive in our behaviors. Now we start to look at, okay... With with the social media model and with regular media, well, what's what's driving what stories rise to the top? Emotional responses. So the most emotionally loaded, clickbaity, and usually the strongest emotions we feel are going to be like fear and anger. So they're the ones that are going to elicit because we have a pay per click model mm -hmm. at, at, at its core. And this seems like a bit of a departure from nutrition, but I will tie it back into our, our response to food. So what I'm going with this is we are being triggered all the time. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's deliberate. We could mm -hmm. pretend that it's not, it is deliberate that we are being triggered all the time because we live in what's known as the attention economy. Yeah. So we have so many sources competing for our attention and the way that they compete is with super stimuli, uh, sensationalism. So we are constantly being triggered and led to believe and, and our nervous system gets into the state where we're in constant fear or concern. Like we don't realize it's happening to us either because it happens at a subconscious level. Mm -hmm. So the, the spillover effect of that is we feel like we're constantly coping we're just barely getting through today. Mm -hmm. And and then you add in this next piece of the puzzle. Food manufacturers who are in the business of selling more food products, when you go, hey, if we add this particular, you know, let's say, um, flavoring additive to our food product, we'll sell 10% more. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great for the bottom line. So, you know, I wouldn't be of the camp that says, say, artificial sweeteners and flavors and things are like complete toxins. But what they do is they fundamentally change our palate. They, fund them, they desensitize us. So if you eat something like aspartame, which is just a diet peptide, interestingly, mm -hmm. but aspartame is, is like, say, 300 times sweeter than sugar. Mm -hmm. And so that will now desensitize your palate to even the sweetness of naturally occurring sugar and fruit. So banana is going to taste like yeah. cardboard after you chew a piece of gum containing aspartame. Right. So our, our palate is being changed. And then they, these foods are triggering dopamine response. Like there's – so – Personal responsibility plays a key role in this, but we mm -hmm. have to acknowledge the the opposing forces that we are against. The yeah. food, you know, and it's not not even in a conspiratorial sense, just in a very realistic sense. Just economics. You know, they're making food that sells. <laughs> the greatest slogan in the history of marketing was from Snickers, and they're the number one selling chocolate bar in the world. Hungry? Grab a Snickers. Those four <laughs> words vaulted them to the number one place. And yeah. it, is, it is almost nefariously perfect, that marketing slogan. Because hungry, we can confuse so many sensations in our body for hunger when they're not. You could replace mm -hmm. it with feel uncomfortable in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. Grab. Feel happy, which, feel sad. <laughs> right. Grab yeah. suggests act impulsively without thinking. And then, of course, a Snickers. And then you eat that Snickers and you get the hit of dopamine and your brain goes, hallelujah, I want more. They did it. They did it. They mm -hmm. hijacked our brain. They're, it's like they're playing with a cheat code because mm -hmm. most people don't think about it from this perspective. They don't think that the, the Mars candy bar company <laughs> is in the business of, they spend that slogan. They spent probably like millions of dollars developing in market research to develop a four word right. slogan. That's so powerful that mm -hmm. they made Snickers the number one selling chocolate bar in the world. Yeah. I share that to say for the average person out there, you want to know what you're up against. <laughs> And you're up right. against billions of dollars in behavioral psychology. And that's why I focus so much on, on this idea of brain-driven weight loss. Because it's like, you got to know what you're up against. In a nutshell, this modern environment we live in is really affecting our impulse control. Well, in the same token, giving us incredible access um, to foods that are might as well be crack. Right. 